Hey guys, welcome back. This is the lecture number 92 from our bootcamp series. In the last lecture, we discussed about Action Miller theoretically. Now, in this lecture, we will implement our first custom Miller. Okay, so let's create a Miller. So, to create a Miller, you need to open your terminal and switch to the project directory. Okay, and then you need to run a command to generate Miller. So here you can see that I am at the terminal. Now, just to remind you here that like controllers, you can either create a mailer from scratch or you can use Rails generator. Okay, so here I'm going to use Rails generator for creating a mailer. So let's try to generate a mailer. Okay, so here you need to run this command Rails G mailer. Okay, and then just like controller, you need to write your mailer name here. So for example, let's say we will implement a CRUD notification mailer here. So CRUD notification okay and into that CRUD notification I need three actions that will send a notification email to admin whenever a new record has been created whenever a new uh, whenever an existing record has been updated and whenever an existing record has been deleted okay so what actions I need here I need here create notification and then update notification and then delete notification however uh, this is just an example email you can generate mailer for whatever you need and you can write your custom logic to send that email okay but this will definitely help you to write your first mailer okay so now the command is rails generate crud notification create notification update notification and delete notification so here you can notice that this is the mailer name okay crud notification and these create notification update notification and delete notification are the mailer actions okay so now let's hit the enter here you can see that this command has generated some files so let's see what files it has generated so it has first created a new mailer that is cred notification mailer inside the mailers okay and then you can see that it has created a views directory inside the app views with name cred notification mailer okay and then now you can see that there are six view templates one for each HTML and text format for all this create notification update notification and delete notification actions okay so let's see this into your code directory so here you can see that this is the your mailer action create notification and then there is delete notification and there is update notification okay and here you can see that create notification mailer is a directory inside the views and we have create notification html.trv delete notification html.trv and update notification html.erv however we will keep these text.erv files for now and later we will remove that because we are not going to send emails using in text format we will just send them in plain html file so for now we will just keep them and later on we will delete them okay now let me tell you that what this will do this mailer will do so by using this mailer we will send an email to admin user whenever a new model instance has been created or an existing instance updated or deleted okay now let's implement the logic inside the mailer actions okay so here you can see that there is some custom text inside these mailers like you can see that subject can be set in your file config locals whatever okay so here we will remove this okay and we will also remove this content we will remove this too we will remove this too and we will remove this static content too because we don't need that okay now we will implement the logic for create actions okay so we will accept an object here that has been created right now okay, okay. because we will invoke this mailer whenever a new record created or existing record updated or deleted so just accept an object argument here and just like mailer we need to use instance variable eh, just like controllers we need to use instance variables inside the mailer actions to display them on browser or mailer view templates okay so here what i will check i will get it at the red object equal to object 
this object could be anything maybe it is the object of a student model it is the object of course model or it can be the object of project model or demo model or whatever the models you have in your application now we need this at the red object count as well it count and then object dot ask dot count now let me tell you that what this will do that this object will display that uh, what record you have created okay and it will display the data attributes of that object and this line object count will display that how many objects are there in database for that particular model after creating this object okay and now we need mail to okay so this two could be anything like uh, our admin class or our sorry our admin user or uh, whatever email you will write here okay and then we need to add a subject here and that subject will be added inside the email okay so let's write an email here we will write let's say admin at the rate example.com and then subject it will be like uh, a new object has been created or you can add the dynamic class name of the object a new entry for at the rate or oh, sorry simply object dot class has been created okay, now save this sorry save the file now and now in crud notification dot html dot drb we need to display these objects so we can use this create notification dot html dot drb okay and we can simply remove this or we can simply update this h1 tech content let's say let's write hello admin user okay and here we can change this context content and here we can write sorry a new at the red object dot class dot two s has been created below is the details of the object created okay. and now you can close this p tag okay and now we will display the details here that what which what attributes we created the object or what value the newly created objects have okay so we can iterate a loop here so we know that we can get all the values all the attributes of a object like this object dot attributes dot see which do in here we will take attribute key attr key and let's say attribute value so attr well okay value let's make it proper now now just close this loop and now what we need to display here that we can write something like let's say inside the p tag and into this p tag take a strong Strong tag and into that strong tag, what we can write? We can write attr dot attr key. Okay. And after that, we can write attr value. Okay. Attr value. And 
then this will this line line number seven to nine will display that what data we created for a new instance and now here we can add a simple text that now now the object dot class dot two x two s object dot class dot two s as total of and you know that we have used a at the rate object count instance variable here okay so we can display this okay here so at the rate object count reports this is done now let's add a simple h4 here you can write thanks and here h4 again admin team okay this could be anything like this uh, this is normally a signature of your email <laughs> like uh, you can see that whenever you send email there is some greeting message or some hello world and then at the bottom you will find the details of the sender like uh, if it is company then company logo and the sender email and the address and whatever you want to add here okay now sorry now what we done that we created mailer we created the logic inside our create notification mailer action and we updated the template for create notification dot html dot erb okay now what we need to do that we need to check that whether we are able to send this email or not after creating a new record okay so since we will send emails to admin record a eh, to an admin user after creating a new record there so we need to invoke this mailer into some admin controller so let's try to create a new a student object and so we need to invoke this mirror inside the students controller okay so you can open the students controller inside the admin name space and here you can see that we are saving a new student okay so right after saving the student we can call this mailer so how you can call this mailer just copy the mailer name okay and inside this mailer you need to mention that what action from this mailer you want to invoke so we want to invoke this at the rate create notification action okay so we can take this action from here and we can invoke this action here and this object must be now at the rate student okay why because we gonna send email whenever a new student has been created okay so crud notification mailer dot create notification and pass at the rate student as a new object and now you can use deliver now deliver now okay now you can see that uh, uh, this is how you can invoke a mailer action okay so our method mailer invocation has been done now it's time to create a new student and then we will see that whether this mailer is invoked or not okay so open your admin dashboard and inside the admin dashboard go to the resources and go to the students resource okay now click on the new student button and let's write some entries here let's create it's mine and let's make it test 100 okay. and add some date of birth here let's change this from 2022 sorry 1998 okay now we can add some number here okay and make some space on the terminal before submitting the form okay now we have enough space and now click on the create student button okay so here you can see the test at the email has already been taken so let's make it test 1000 and now submit this student okay so you can see that a new student has been created here is the student detail with ravi kashyap test 1000 at the rate gmail.com okay and now at the terminal you can see that this is the mailer content okay so whenever you, you can see that whenever a new student has been created or as soon as the student is created you can see that it 
invokes the app mailers crud notification mailer dot rb5 from create notification okay or it invokes the create notification email uh, action from crud notification mailer okay and it follow the mailer layout and here you can see that email sent from from at that example dot com and sent to admin at that example dot com just like uh, the email we use in the two format here admin at that example dot com and from where this from mail comes so this comes from here default from from at the rate example dot com okay now let's see the other content you can see that subject a new entry for a student has been created what we did inside the create notification mailer that we write a new entry for object dot class has been created okay and now let's see what content it has delivered that uh, this is the you can see that is the mailer layout and here you can see that a new student has been created below is the details of the objects created so it will show you id is the 28 first name ravi last name kashyap email and so on so we can test this email on our terminal we cannot see we did not see this email preview inside the email because uh, admin at that example.com is not a real email and in this lecture i am not targeting to show you that how to send email into the inbox of a user i'm just showing you that how to implement mailer okay so now what we need to do that we need to see the preview of this email so just to preview this email as a HTML format inside the browser what we need to do that we need to include a gem in our application and the gem name is letter opener gem and this gem is used to generate the email previews of your mailer content or mailer template files okay so let's start using letter opener gem in our application so for adding the letter opener gem what you need to do that you need to go to the browser and search for letter opener gem here you can see that when I typed letter opener gem in the browser, you can see that Rayan B letter opener preview mail in browser. Okay. So you can copy this and just copy this line letter opener group development or either just copy this gem name and paste it into the development group of your gem file. So open your gem file now. Okay. And in the gem file, you can find the development group. Okay, so here you can paste it after the buy bug and save it. Okay, so now what we need to do that we just generated a, added a gem into our gem file. So now we need to run the bundle install. Okay. Meanwhile, you can see that after adding this gem, set the delivery method in config environments development.rb. Okay, so copy both of these lines. Okay as this will require and now open the development.rb and in development.rb what we need to do after this line we need to paste it here okay just uh, correct the indentation here you can see that config.action mailer delivery method is letter opener and config.action mailer perform deliveries equal to true okay now here meanwhile we can check that whether bundle has been installed or not so you can see that bundle has been installed already now what we need to do that since we added a new gem and we changed the in uh, we changed the development.rb for delivery uh, email delivery method so let's shut down your controller and reach a uh, shut down your real server and restart it and once your real server restarted now it's time to create a new student again and then we can see the preview of the email inside the browser okay so let's create a new student and this time let's create a student for Kapil okay and Kapil dot it's a 10 1100 at the redemption pack dot com and add some address here okay and make some internet dummy internet number okay now provide the date of birth here okay 19th April and make it 1995 okay save this and click on the create a student okay so you can see that a student has been created 
with kapil dot gurjar one thousand at the tap simpact dot com. But uh, we still we did not see the mailer content inside the browser. So let me see what is what's going wrong here. Okay, so we did not see this email after creating this student because I did not save the development of Tarfi. I just copy and pasted. So that is the mistake that you should avoid. So just copy, paste, and save your development of Tarfi. And now again restart your server and then create another student. Okay, so let's create a new student again just because I made the mistake so now let's create the student for me my name again and let's make it test sorry here test 2000 at the gmail.com and date of birth you can take as uh, let's say 29th April and make it 1996 okay. and provide some dummy alternate number here and click on the create a student Okay, so here you can see that whenever you, as soon as you submitted the new student form, you can see that a student has been created in your database and an email preview has been sent, generated, or you can, and you can see that email preview inside the browser. So you can see that, hello admin user, a new student has been created. Below is the details of the objects created. Okay, here you can see id 30 first name ravi last name kashyap email test 2000 at gmail.com and when it has been created and the updated date and the date of birth permanent account number local address permanent address alternate contact number and so on okay now the student has total of 27 records it means we have 27 students in our database so this is the same thing that you need to do with the update records and delete record or sorry update notification and delete notification mailer actions okay so what you need to do that you need to just replicate the same line okay copy this and here you can paste it and you can paste the same content here however i will let you know that how to refactor this same content okay so you can just keep the two as admin at the example.com but you can you need to change the subject like uh, in the create notification we can use and we can use a new entry has been created now what we need to do that the object dot email has been updated or object has been updated okay or you can simply say an entry for object dot class has been okay and you can do the same thing here that an entry for object dot class has been deleted okay and now just like uh, we invoke the mailer actions in inside the create action what you need to do that you need to copy the same thing and you can invoke this mailer after student dot update okay and you just need to change the name that is update notification okay at the student dot deliver now and here you can see after before destroying the student or before destroying the object okay why because after update and after say create we have the student in the database but when we call destroy we remove the student from the database and in that case we need to invoke this mailer before destroy action okay so now you can copy this and uh, replace this by delete notification okay and now just again cross check the application with the current mail you can see the delete notification update notification okay and now let's test the delete notification and update notification action as well okay so let's try to update any student uh, let's see update it and let's make it name is Ramesh Suresh and now save this student okay so you can see that okay we need to provide arguments here as well so let's provide the argument to the mailer actions here 
Android object and here to need to provide object okay now save this and update the student again when you click on continue you can see that an mailer preview has been generated but what we need to do that we did not updated the HTML here okay so we can just copy the same content from create notification and we can use the same notification inside the update notification okay but what we need to do that an entry has been updated entry from has been updated below is the details of the object created okay and now you can see object attribute we don't need to change that and we don't need to change the content now and we can use the same content inside the delete notification html as well okay remove this and you can use an entry from object.class has been deleted sorry just remove this created by deleted and use the deleted here as well save it and just make some correction in update notification html as well make updated here save it and now when you update a new student again let's say student at the rate suresh.com and now click on update student Okay, so you can see that hello admin an entry from a student has been updated below is the details of object updated. So you can see that email has been updated here student at the rate suresh.com. Now we can delete try to delete any student and we will see an email for that as well. So go to the last and here you can see that we can remove this random user a student. Okay, so let's delete this. Okay, so when you click on delete you will see again a mail preview when a user deleted so an entry from a student has been deleted below is the details of the object deleted okay so this is a very basic example how we can use record uh, how we can use mailers and how we can write our mailer actions and views view template for them okay but it totally depends upon the requirements of you but you can take the idea from here and you can use the same approach for creating your custom controllers and a uh, custom mailers and uh, implementing your custom logic to send your emails okay so i hope you enjoyed that and just try this at your end and do the same thing or invoke the same model for other resources like courses projects and all that however i will definitely push the updated code inside the repo and will share the link of the updated repository into the description of the video as well but uh, before that try this at your end okay so what we concluded in this lecture that we saw how to implement action mailer or how to create our custom action mailers and how to use letter opener gem to preview email templates okay in the next lecture we will discuss uh, something more about the action mailers like how we can send attachments to email and how we can preview those attachments like we can send uh, let's say pdf or some documents or some images to email okay so we will see how we can do that okay so i hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching this let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and Stay safe.